Hello, welcome to the channel. It's a homeboy, Mr. Zambiest. Do you want to come and study in Zambia or do you have a friend or relative that want to come and study in Zambia yet you don't know anything about Zambian universities? Wait, because this video is actually meant for you. In this video, I'll share with you actually the general perspective or the general picture of Zambian universities, what you need to know before you come and study in Zambia, that is the cost of living, how many universities are in Zambia, their respective locations, the general picture of their, the hospitality of the Zambian people, also, the fees that you need to come and pay, accommodation, the cost of living. This is actually what I will share with you in this video. So please stay tuned and be with us till the end if this video is actually meant for you. It's a homeboy, Mr. Zambia, always taking great things about Zambia to Africa, great things about Zambia to the world. So Zambia actually has a total of 10 provinces with the capital city being in Lusaka province itself. As of 2020, Zambia had actually uh, uh, more than 60 registered universities with more than actually nine uh, public or government owned uh, institutions that is universities and more than 51 private universities and all these universities are actually uh, uh, scattered around Zambia or scattered around the 10 provinces but actually with most of them uh, being clustered in Lusaka province and Lusaka districts. Uh, so there's a high chance when you come and study in Zambia, you will actually be in Lusaka or you'll find yourself being in Lusaka, uh, which is a great thing to some extent, yeah, which will be a great thing because most of uh, things actually uh, happen in Lusaka because this is actually the most busiest city in Zambia. So there's a higher probability that when you come to study in Zambia, you will be in Lusaka because most of their universities are actually located in Lusaka, Zambia. And then when it comes to hospitality or are you safe or are you fearing whether you're going to be safe when you come in Zambia actually in Zambia it's very safe I'm sure you know that Zambia is one of the most peaceful nations you ever live in actually on a global level so we've enjoyed peace for quite a long period of time and this means that actually Zambian people are actually peaceful hospitable and in terms of adaptability don't worry because actually there are a lot of international schools at at most of these Zambian universities. So when you come here, there's a higher chance you might find actually who are some of these international stu students that come from your country and actually and that will be uh, of, of great uh, advantage and you will be able to adapt at a short period of time. So about programs, uh, Zambian universities actually offer quite a wide variety of uh, uh, programs that is starting from certificates, a diploma, bachelor's degree, uh, master's degree, PhDs, and so on. And actually, uh, they are very competitive. Yeah, this I have to tell you about it. Uh, Zambian universities are competitive with some and most of them actually topping actually uh, on a continental level and on a global level. The University of Zambia is actually sixth in the entire continent of, of Africa. So, be ready when you're coming here because they are very competitive and you will actually be able to get all the skills that you need to get at these universities to prepare you actually in the work industry or actually to prepare you for a personal growth and the duration of the programs the duration of the programs actually depend with what level of education you want to do here in zambia so certificate uh, I'm not going to talk about certificate level, I'm just going to talk about diploma, bachelor's degree, master's degree, and also uh, PhD, PhDs. So, so for diplomas actually, uh, in Zambia you are going to do a diploma program that is at uh, uh, minimum three years, and then for a bachelor's degree it dep depends with what school and what kind of a program you are doing for a bachelor's degree. Most of the bachelor's degrees are actually four years, but some of these bachelor's degrees, such as in the School of Natural Sciences, they are actually five years. Why is it five years? Because if you haven't done the natural sciences, uh, that is science, physics, mathematics, and also biology, yeah, so you'll be required to do your, your natural sciences, that will be one year, then after that you'll proceed to a program. But if, if you already have that, which is the case for most high school graduates so you just go direct actually to your four-year program yeah but you'll be given uh, a chance to actually write uh, the exams that will be given at these universities but for some they just exempt you direct 
And then for Bachelors of Medicine and Surgery, most universities actually used to offer it in seven years, but now all of them have turned actually to six years with only Cavendish University still offering it in seven years. So Medicine and Surgery is six years. Most of these other natural sciences, it's five years. And most of the Zambian programs actually, Bachelor's degree are four years. And then when it comes to Master's degree, Master's degree ranges from one year, six, months to actually two years uh, PhDs actually range from three years to seven years so these are the duration of uh, uh, the programs at Zambian universities uh, so in case you are wondering how much does it cost actually to study in Zambia it's very cheap to study in Zambia and live in Zambia so the prices that I'm going to give you are actually for Lusaka district or Lusaka, the capital city of Zambia calls actually it's a, a expensive to live in this city compared to these other cities so i'll use this as a range but it's very cheap compared to other african nations so as at now are the prices that i'll be using actually either in us dollar and also kwacha so it's very important for you to know the exchange rate at the time that you'll be coming here to in zambia but as at now one us dollar is equal to actually 17.54 kwacha so all the calculations you do for yourself and find out how much it costs to live and study in Zambia. So living in Zambia is very cheap like I've, I've told you. Yeah, it's very cheap. Someone can actually, uh, as a student, be sustained with a, a 2,000 kwacha uh, going up. Yeah, even a, at least a 2,000 kwacha can sustain you on a monthly basis depending on how you want to live here in Zambia. But a 2,000 kwacha is actually sufficient to make you uh, survive and live in Lusaka, Zambia for a month. And also for accommodation, how much it costs for accommodation actually, it depends. Because Zambia actually has in-campus and out-of-campus accommodation. For in-campus accommodation, it depends if you are at a private university or you are at a public university. Private universities are a little bit expensive compared to public university accommodation. So for private universities, actually, uh, in-campus accommodation ranges actually from 6,000 kwacha to 13,000 kwacha. That can be actually per semester or yearly. But for government universities, the prices actually range from 3,000 kwacha to 7,000 kwacha yearly. And then for off-campus accommodations, most of them actually, most of the universities have memorandum of understanding with people that actually uh, own houses or own yeah, places where students can be. So in Zambia, they usually call them boarding houses. I don't know how they call it in your country. Uh, tell us how they call off-campus uh, accommodation in your country in the comment section. But in Zambia, they are known as boarding houses. Yeah, most of them are actually paid on a monthly basis. Uh, the ranges of these accommodations are actually 400 kwacha to 3,000 kwacha on a monthly basis. Some of them actually just rent a house. Yeah, you may just rent a house as students, either alone or with the, uh, the fellow students. So this is how much uh, accommodation costs here in Zambia. And then actually for tuition fees, how much it really costs to study in Zambia. So it, uh, the tuition fees in Zambia are actually determined by four things. The region where you are coming from as an international student, the level of the program that you want to come and do, the kind of uh, university where you are going to do your program from, that is either a public or private university, and also the mode of study that you are going to be actually studying. That is either as a regular student, on distance learning or actually on online learning so these four are the determinants actually of how much you're going to pay here in zambia but in this video i actually just concentrate on which region you are coming from as a student are you at a public or private university and what kind of a program are you doing here in zambia on the level of study i actually concentrate on bachelor's degree master's degree and a PhD only, no diplomas, no certificates. So these actually amounts I'm going to give you are for these three levels. So let's start with actually SADIC uh, student, that is the region. So those that are coming from the Southern Africa Development Community, that is SADIC, that is Zimbabwe, South Africa, 
Namibia, all those that are in the Sadiq region actually are considered as local students. So you pay the same as local students. It's cheap uh, for Sad for those that are coming from Sadiq uh, nations than those that are coming from non-Sadiq nations. This is a point that you have to take. So for those that are coming from Sadiq uh, uh, nations, there's a higher probability you pay the same as local students at public universities. So for those uh, students coming from Sadiq countries and want to study from a public university, uh, the fees are actually paid annually. Meaning, for those that want to do a bachelor's degree program, they actually pay uh, between uh, 13,000 to 30,000 kwacha annually and then for those that want to do a master's degree they pay around 16,000 to uh, 22,000 with those actually that want to do uh, a PhD paying between 15,000 to actually 22,000 then for those that want to do it from a private universities and coming from Sadiq uh, countries uh, fees are actually paid on semester basis so for a bachelor's degree uh, you, you'll be expected to pay uh, from a range of 80,000 80, kwacha to actually 12,000 kwacha with those actually that want to do a master's degree program paying uh, 9,000 kwacha to actually 13,000 kwacha and then those that want to do a PhD actually they pay between 15,000 to 17,000 kwacha these fees are actually for private universities are a reference of the University of Lusaka and Cavendish University, Zambia. And then in final year, there's a high probability you will pay for a PhD at 10,000 kwacha per semester. Now, let's come to those actually that are coming from non uh countries. Those that are coming from non countries that is outside the Southern Africa Development Community, uh, uh, your fees are actually a bit expensive compared to those that are coming from Sadiq nations. I'm going to put your actual tuition fees in United States dollars. So if you want to start actually from a public university and you are coming from a non-Sadiq region, for a bachelor's degree you are expected to pay within $2,000 uh, to actually $4,000 annually. And then for a master's degree you are expected to pay between $7,000 dollars to actually a nine thousand dollars annually for a uh, phd you will be expected or uh, actually the range is from uh, seven thousand us dollars to actually uh, thirteen thousand us dollars so this is how much you're going to pay if you're coming from an Antarctic region uh, and then you want to do it from a public university for those that want to do it from a private university your fees actually are paid on semester basis and they are in United States dollars so for a bachelor's degree you are expected to pay 1,100 US dollars to actually 1,900 uh, US dollars all these ranges actually that I'm telling you are within the ranges of how much you are going to pay no matter what program you are going to do yeah and then for a master's degree actually you are expected to pay between 1,500 US dollars and 3,000 US dollars. For a PhD, you are actually expected to pay between 2,000 US dollars to 4,000 US dollars. That is per semester. So these are the fees and this is how much actually it costs to study in Zambia. Yeah, so it's very cheap if you compare it with other nations. And the good part is actually the skills that you are going to gain from actually Zambian universities are the same with uh, other universities that you are going to uh, attend across the continent but at a very cheap uh, price so this is actually what i had for you about zambian universities what you need to know about zambian universities and please don't forget to watch our video uh, yeah watch our video on zambian top 10 universities or actually universities that you should consider when you are coming to uh, study in zambia and also tell us how what you what you think about this video we've reached at the end of the video it's a homeboy mr zambia just always taking great things about zambia to africa great things about zambia to the world till we see you in the next videos thank you so much for watching till the end